Hello everyone. Church teaching on moral matters is founded not only on reason but also on scripture and the Christian tradition developed through reflection on Christian practice and through the teaching of saints, popes and councils under the guidance of course of the Holy Spirit. Now moral theology uses a method of reasoning enlightened by faith to develop moral arguments. Faith is not incompatible with reason but complements it and reflection on the mysteries of the faith illuminates and deepens our understanding of human life. A great early Christian writer, Saint Irenaeus, once wrote, The glory of God is a human being fully alive, and full human life for a human being is the vision of God. Christians believe that life has meaning, and that the meaning of life is to find happiness through Christ in friendship with God and in the service of others. Jesus showed that the one God is three persons, Father, Son and Spirit. Each is God. All are one, living in relationships of eternal love. From this mystery we draw truth for our own relationships. Treating people morally and respectfully involves recognising them as persons. All human beings, whatever group or class they belong to, should be recognised as human persons with basic human rights. The scriptures warn us of the reality of sin in ourselves and in others. The story of Cain and Abel, for instance, in Genesis 4, 1-16, tells how envy fractures the peace intended by God and leads to domestic strife, violence and even murder. After all, Cain killed his brother Abel. However, since Jesus came to seek and save the lost, that's Luke 19.10, the recognition of sin in the life of the Christian is not a reason for despair. Rather, it is an invitation to repent and trust in the mercy of God granted through humble confession and reconciliation. The path to holiness is often through many falls and many new beginnings. The resurrection of Jesus from the dead shows that death is not the end of the human story. The life of the body is not an absolute good, but it should be cherished both for itself and for the opportunity to serve our fellow man and woman. Because this mortal life is a gift from God, it is reserved to God to bring it to an end, to bring us to judgment and then please God to grant us eternal life. Jesus spoke of the need to die in order to find life in John 12, 24, 25. And this refers both to the Christian life here on earth and to the promise of life in the world to come. The dignity of each human being is founded on his or her creation in the image and likeness of God in Genesis 1, 26, 27. The divine image is shown more perfectly in Jesus, the Son of God, who came in humble human form to restore human beings to a right relationship with God and with one another. The image of God is thus seen more clearly in love and humility than in power and worldly honour. As every human being is irreplaceable and invaluable, it is always wrong intentionally to kill an innocent man, woman or child. This conclusion is also implied by the commandment, You shall not kill. Exodus 20.13 Nevertheless, we should note that the scriptural commandment does not apply to all killing. It does not forbid forbid the killing of animals, as is clear from the laws on the ritual slaughter of bulls and goats. Furthermore, 
Sometimes even the killing of people is presented in the scriptures as excusable or even as legitimate. For instance, unintended killing in self-defense and killing in a just war. Here are a few questions you could ask yourself or discuss with others. First, the story of the Good Samaritan should inspire us as to how we should treat others, especially the neediest in our society. What do you make of that story? Second, animal welfare people are very concerned as to how we should be kind to animals whilst at the same time not showing the same concern for the millions of people who go to bed hungry every night. Is this fair or right? Last, you have heard the saying, all men are created equals, but some are more equal than others. What do you think about that statement? The answers just might surprise you. Thank you all again for listening and God bless you all. Oh.